Okay, so very quickly, we are going to go over the basic installation steps for our pH 87 retractable and our pH 97 sensor. So you need to take everything out of this box. You got your 87, it comes with the instruction manual, your 97 comes with an instruction manual as well. First thing you need to do is this could have been purchased with or without a ball valve. If it was, if it was purchased with the ball valve, go ahead and separate the ball valve from the retractable housing. And then we're going to do this the way the instruction manual says. There's three parts. So you separate just by pulling the titanium sheath off and then unthread the Kynar fitting from the J-Box. On your sensor, it's always easier if you take your, um, uh, your wire terminal ends to make sure that it's just easier for feeding purposes. So go ahead and untake, take off the wet boot that keeps your sensor wet, put it to the side. You're going to feed it through the bottom where the flared end of the titanium sheath is. Feed the cable through and then feed the retractable, the um, sensor, I mean, sorry, directly into it. It's going to be snug if you put a little bit of O-ring grease on there because there's two O-rings. Let me show you those real quick. Um, it'll probably make smoothing it on a little bit easier. There's two O-rings. And then also, I mean, want to note, there's a thread here that when we put it um, in here and this kind of body goes all the way through, it'll actually thread on here to seal it too, so... That's what you're threading on to in just a moment. <clears throat> okay, so the, you know the sensor is in there when the titanium sheath mates up to it. So then you're going to thread it through the Kynar inner tube till it pushes on there, and this is where you're going to actually thread now the Kynar body onto that sensor. Like such. Now, uncap the J-box. Alrighty, and want to note here, well, you're going to thread through straight up into the J-box head, your cables. There are two different types of sensors that you can get one where you're going to actually use the J-Box, the threads inside the J-Box, and the other one where you're going to bypass the J-Box completely and wire it, you know, through the J-Box head. You know, directly to the terminal strip. Okay. So for this one, though, because it's so small, this one is actually wiring it directly to the J-Box head. So what we're going to do is we are going to obviously untape our wires. And wire it to the J-Box. Okay, so when you actually are wiring it into the J box. You'll need your little instruction manual and in here it'll actually show you what wire goes on which terminal strip. So just use that and wire it correctly. Okay, so once you've actually wired it correctly, what I'm not showing in here is the extension cable that would run from this side of the terminal strip outside the sidearm into your transmitter. So then you just match it up, you know, point to point from there on what those pins mean. Measure reference temperature to what they are in your J box. I mean, in your tra um, transmitter. So now your sensor is physically installed into the retractable. Now to get it on. So you have your ball valve in the closed position online. Now you might need to actually put the retractable in. What you're going to do is you're going to unloosen the swage fitting, scoot it all the way down to the very end, put your retractable on process, thread it in, then once it's snug and fine, tight, you will then open your ball valve. 
and then you can slide the retractable to whatever insertion length you want, and then tighten the swage fitting, cr uh, cr crimp it down so it's in one piece. Okay. So now to extract it, you do the exact opposite. You'll unloosen the swage fitting. You'll pull it all the way down until you hear it lock, it can't go any further. Then you sh shut your ball valve, and then you can unscrew the nut. On the 87 from your process. So there's your ball valve, there's your sensor. And then you do the exact opposite in reverse to change your sensor out. You undo the J box, undo the wires, pull it all the way out, and you do the same thing all the way back in.